LipoBind, proud sponsors of the really useful health show. Do you sometimes find yourself pacing around feeling really distracted and then comfort eating as a result of feeling stressed? When stress becomes distressful, then you know there's a problem. And in fact, there is a big difference. Although stress itself can be healthy in terms of the fact that it can stretch us and make us perform well, when it actually becomes distressful, then it's uncomfortable. And in fact, the, the difference was noted by a chap called Professor Hans Selye, and he actually defined it as the rate of wear and tear on our bodies. So why don't you join me and let me tell you the secret of my three-step stress protection plan. Firstly, you need to eat well. Stress is one of the most common causes of digestive upsets and lots of us get heartburn, indigestion, irritable bowel syndrome, all of those are made worse by stress. And while some of us don't eat when we're stressed, most of us tend to comfort eat. So we find ourselves grazing and eating foods that are sweet and fatty that end up piling on the extra pounds. So it's really important to learn how to manage your stress. And other things like saliva in your mouth, for example, the hormones can actually dry that out. So by having a wholesome and nutritious diet, you're gonna give yourself the fuel you need to get through those difficult times. Now there are specific things that you need to include in your diet. It's important that you have nutritious food little and often so you've got a constant supply of good nutrients going through to the brain and the nervous system to fortify you and help you with the stress so you don't let yourself get hungry important to just make sure even if you have smaller meals to eat little and often and to have lots of fresh home cooked food that's important too rather than the processed pre-prepared food that you can pick up in a hurry and if you have a sweet tooth, and we haven't quite got you there with the cravings yet, because that takes probably four to six weeks to sort the cravings out, then it's important to have intrinsically sweet foods. So things like dried fruit, for example, especially the organic dried fruits, nice and chewy, lots of sweet taste to give you that satisfying feeling. And other things like fresh fruit and nuts and seeds and so on will also give you a comfort. Secondly, it's important to sleep well. While we're asleep, our bodies undergo that important process of cell repair and rejuvenation. And so it's vital to have a really good night's sleep so that we can wake up feeling refreshed and ready to face the day ahead. Now, if you're lying awake in the night and you're having fitful dreams and waking up every few hours, the chances are that you're suffering with stress overload. And it's actually really important to deal with that because if you're tired, you're gonna feel on edge and unable to cope. Regular sleep is important, so going to bed about the same time each night and waking up the same time in the morning is something to aim for. And it's also important to avoid doing exercise or eating just before you go to sleep because the exercise will stimulate you and going to sleep on a full stomach is not a great idea because then you're going to be involved in digestion rather than rest. And perhaps during the day, take time out to have a power nap. And that's especially important. It may feel a waste of time at the time, but actually just having 15 or 20 minutes of rest during the day can recharge your batteries so that you get the best out of the day and it helps you to keep going for much longer. And thirdly, make time for yourself to beat the stress. Making time for yourself isn't just a nice idea. It's absolutely essential if you want to stay in the driving seat. But the difficulty is sometimes we can't see the point of taking time out when we're so busy and we feel that we should keep on keeping on. In fact, it's not as easy as it seems because learning to relax thoroughly is actually an acquired skill and so it does take practice. And if you can't do it, first of all, I wouldn't beat yourself up about it. And now I'm going to actually practice what I preach and take some time out for myself and uh, have a go at this Paziz machine myself into a relaxed position and switch on. Oh, that feels good. 
don't forget to join me on the next show when I'm going to be talking about how healthy fast food can actually be. LipoBind, proud sponsors of the Really Useful Health Show.